we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now onto the video. Welcome to readtheticker.com. Uh, readtheticker.com is interested in accumulations using Wyckoff theory. We are interested in long bases showing a breakout and a markup. And we're interested in how those bases are formed with price and volume. So to, us, um, to have an assist with that process, it's good to know critical levels on a price chart. Now, you're probably familiar with Fibonacci retracements as such. Wrong button. There we go. Try again. Those are standard Fibonacci retracements. 38, 50, 61, 78. Now, on the silver chart, monthly silver chart, we're going to study uh, GAN's levels and his methodology for considering uh, critical levels on a chart during a pullback. Now what we have here is silver price going from 1965 to 2016. Um, we are considering price action to the right hand side of this vertical line. Okay, So therefore if we were around here we would have the data from prior which is we have the lowest low which is around 1.283 and we have the highest high of 42.07. The other input we need is zero which is the zero point on the chart. So if I show you the inputs for GAN levels, GAN levels are pretty much taking um, the extreme high low, so that's high zero I should say, from the high point to zero, we want to get the halfway point which is G1, which is equivalent to 50% on Fibonacci, we want to get a three quarter point which is 25% um, pullback, that's called three quarter, and we want the quarter point, which is G3, which is equivalent to 75% pullback. Now that's using the high zero, and also we want to do the same with the high low, that's from the high to the low of price. And once again, the, um, the fractions are the same. And we get you know the minus 25%, 50% pullback, and the 75% pullback expressed in fractions. So the critical level, uh, critical GAN levels are G1, G2, G3, G4, I GAN 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And here we have stars around uh, highlighting the, the critical level importance, but it all depends on the chart and nature of what's going on here. So we've loaded the inputs in, and we are now looking at the chart beyond the vertical line to the right, and we want to see how these levels influence price going forward. So we have the high here, excuse me, and as we can see here, we've got solid. Uh, this was the original support which came in there, which is a, probably equivalent to a 75% pullback, because this is high low 1 8th and high 1 8th. So when I say HL, see here it's got HL, so that's high low, and then we're just without the H, it's just the high, okay? So it's compared to the high. So here we have these 1 8 see those 1 8 those are those double lines down there, and we've got G3 and G4. Here's G3, G4, that's this point here and G2, G1, which is higher up, and then we've got the three, um, the high zero, and HL up here at the top here. Okay. As you can see, it found support there, so that was interesting. So we had our Wyckoff selling climax, automatic reaction test, secondary test. Sorry, a you know slumpy, sorry, you know what, what would you, how would you call that? A, a poor test there, and we get some more weakness coming down here. So we get a bit of a bear trap here, and it bases out for for you know 20 years. But overall, this beautiful accumulation package started a big rally as the US dollar weakened down here. I think there's a massive reversal on weekly, and we can see how price advanced. And we have a reaccumulation up here, and as you notice, price is held by G3, G4, G1, and G2 in this reaccumulation pattern here. So you know these are critical levels based on these this high and the and the low price point and the zero of the chart and obviously it takes off there so that's this is how GAN levels and Wyckoff base building reaccumulation worked in this time frame okay so let's do it again because we, now we've been recalibrated we have to re, sorry we have to recalibrate because we have a higher high here compared to that one so the numbers will change so we'll go to the next chart Okay, we're back to silver monthly, and here we are with a new recalibration of 49.82, but we have 
this is the data loaded in. So again, we have the low price and the new price, and the same buttons highlighted, and we see how these levels e affect our future. So we're now looking uh, the, the right hand side of the vertical line. I'm going to see how, you know, I'll start that again. We now have that high there. So as soon as you get the high, you can think of about the right hand side of the vertical line. We have our criticals leveled in. We have a a, a pattern here which turned out to be redistribution. Okay, we had our accumulation pattern here, and most likely, I believe, we're getting a reaccumulation here. But as you can note, how silver was bound by these um, GAN levels, and when it failed, it broke down and found support at these other GAN levels here. So, once again, if I was using Fibonacci, I uh, just this really no, wouldn't work here because I'm at the low point. So I'll take that back. Um, so I'm just sort of saying is that because I can't put Fibonacci on the low point here, if I do Fibonacci between here, this low and that up there, you see how the 50% doesn't marry up? Okay. See how this is uh, high, which is the um, half. 50% is higher because we're taken from this 4.05 point because we know the lowest price point is 1.283 and 0 on the chart. So Fibonacci does not marry to GAN levels um, when you look at the full price start of the chart. Okay, so therefore you get a bit of reading with the GAN levels, and as you can see, that just helps support uh, where are the where is the solid foundation for pop, proper accumulations. And obviously, we don't use GAN levels on on its own, so it's good to see how price is being bound by these GAN levels. Okay. And how they work. So they're just another tool, especially in commodity charts, um, and obviously when we have major pullbacks in stock indices and bond indices, bond um, charts, it's good to know where the gain levels are. If you're seeing big accumulations build up and you're wondering why they're turning up there, it's just another tool to be aware of. Check out gain levels in the analysis chart and combination, and I think they're in the cycle chart as well. Thanks for watching.